And now for a story you'll only see here on Fox 55. New details in a story we told you about last month. You probably remember students at Leo Junior Senior High School having to learn in classrooms without heat. Tonight, Fox 55 News has obtained a Department of Health report that says some of those classrooms last month also had elevated CO2 levels, almost as high as three times the accepted limit. Our Stephen Walker has poured through that document and reached out to the East Allen County School District about what they're doing to fix that problem. I have that Department of Health report right here in my hand. It says they visited the school on November 18th after receiving complaints about the cold classrooms. And here's what they found. Elevated CO2 levels in six of the eight rooms that they tested. The limit for classrooms was 1,132 ppm or parts per million of CO2. The highest room they tested was over 3,000 ppm, almost three times the classroom limit. Other rooms ranged between 1,179 and 1,854 ppm, both over that limit. Now, it's not just CO2, though, that's a factor. Of those eight rooms tested, two were colder than 68 degrees, the minimum suggested temperature for classrooms. Today, I received new numbers from the Allen County Department of Health from its follow-up visit on December 2nd. It tested five rooms, and they were all above 68 degrees. However, just two rooms were tested for CO2, and neither were the same classrooms tested by the state. The state tells me it only tested two rooms at the school's request. I reached out to the East Allen County School District today, and while no one was willing to go on camera, they released a statement saying they've had some challenges with the HVAC system, but they're in the final stages of replacing it. They have not released a date, but they say all academic areas have been addressed and they're continuing to monitor classrooms daily. And of course, we'll also continue to monitor the story and provide any updates as soon as they become available. In studio, Steve Walker, Fox 55 News.